What's poppin', y'all? I never thought, let, let me not. I definitely thought I'd see the day that they sold this poorly. And honestly, it's been a long time coming. The City Girls, who kind of were one of the starts of this new wave of harlot rap, they just had one of the worst flops that I think we've seen in the past. I mean, this makes Coyla Ray look like she passed with flying colors. I mean, Coyla Ray sold around 9, 10K. These girls, they were projected to sell around 6 to 8. I think their final was around 4 to 5. Regardless, it was nowhere to be found on the charts. And these girls had hits. And they're also, not only do they have hits, they're also famous. One of them is Dating Diddy, has her own show. Won a BET Hip Hop Award for, I think, biggest hip hop platform. JT is dating Uzi. She's had hits in the past. And after everybody found out about their album through their album sales, I never knew the even dropped but i'm not the general demographic that would listen to them anyway she was asked about it on the breakfast club they were both asked about it and they said the following she said i care i think that of course like nobody wants to see that online about themselves. and i feel like at the same time you get in i feel like collectively we didn't do what we had to do to promote the album and then she continued to explain after the host admitted they were unaware of Raw, saying, What I could say is you get in what you put out. If you don't go hard with promoting your stuff and putting it in people's face, of course, it's going to miss people. I feel like it missed a lot of people, and by the time people discovered it, it was discovered as a joke. A lot of people found out through our record sales. That was probably the most viral thing. At least there's an element of self-awareness now. And Young Miami said, I just feel like with us, we just been wanting this album to come out for so long, and a lot of these songs that been like, that's on the album we wanted as singles two years ago. I feel like it's both, she said when Charlemagne asked if the blame fell with the artist or QC. And then JT said, I feel like we got poor management, poor timing. It's never, it's really never no strategy. We just out here like, why the hell are we at the breakfast club a week after our thing? Very good point. So I think the problem here is I am going to cut them a little bit of slack because there is a general frustration to when, think about two years ago, they were probably more in music mode. Like they were making music. They were thinking like, hey, we just made this hit. We want to get this put out as a single or like maybe a couple of songs. And they're probably getting pushed back. Keep in mind, this is probably 2021. I don't know if thing, things weren't really opening up back then. Things were kind of like their music would hit in clubs and if clubs weren't really booming like that they wouldn't have been making that much money even if they dropped the hits or the singles that they wanted to drop so i think there was probably frustration on their end where it's like hey like it's been two years or a year and a half and we haven't even had these singles drop i think there's an element of them that kind of gave up with their team and their team is this is the problem like we only get one side the team management label they're never going to say, hey, this is our perspective. This is why we didn't do X, Y, and Z. They're just, we're just never going to hear it. So they probably had their own reasoning. Perhaps it didn't line up with the other releases on the uh, record label because they're on QC. And they probably just push, push them off. And they're like, hey, we're going to focus on this artist right now. Then we're going to focus on this artist rollout. And then we'll get to yours in due time. And I think they probably just started focusing on other things. Two years ago, if you think about it, I think that's when Carisha Young Miami started her own show. Maybe it couldn't have been three years ago. There's no way. JT kind of, I don't really know what JT does outside of rap. I actually know her more as a rapper than young miami so i will cut them some slack on that it's kind of stressful to have to deal with that and then when it finally releases you know you're not as hot as you used to be musically i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt and assuming that they know that or the problem is they think they're as hot as they were and then they don't have to do much promotion and then the label is just going to carry it i guess because they have a hit because they usually have a hit when stuff like this is happening when a rollout is ongoing to circle back though these girls are very very popular they're talked about once a week, I would say, by their target demographic. So there's no reason why they shouldn't know that they have an album coming out. And this is the problem with identity and managing people's perception of your identity. So at one point, they were known as rappers. They were known as a rap duo. However, they haven't been hanging around together as much that genuinely generally excuse me people start to begin to think okay not not that they're separate but together they're rappers but separate what are they jt kind of just became uzi's girlfriend as well as like popular in her own right like she would be at all these award shows she would be at all the events but she wasn't dropping any music by herself young miami became known as her for her show like her interview show and uh, saying some degenerate stuff and also being with diddy so she kind of became known for this relationship as well as the content she was putting out as a show like kind of like a show host or interviewer 
So their identities as rappers kind of faltered, partially because they weren't together. If they were together, I think that makes people remember like, oh, this is a rap group if they were at places together, but that didn't happen. So I think people just began to forget, for their subconscious began to forget that they were a rap group. They didn't, they didn't necessarily think they broke up. I don't think that was the case. Otherwise, it would have been announced or people would have talked about it. But they stopped thinking about them as rappers. And this is a problem because the baby, for instance, right? The baby is somebody that has gone viral many, many, many times for so many different things, whether it's fighting, whether it's controversy, whether it's something that he said, whether it was somebody that he was involved with, like the Megan Thee Stallion thing, the Tory Lane stuff, all of these different things. But one thing we have never, ever gotten out of our mind is that DeBaby is a rapper because DeBaby is always rapping. Like if something's going on, DeBaby's dropping a freestyle. It, like the Megan Thee Stallion thing that he exposed, he dropped that in the music. That's the thing that JT and Young Miami didn't do. They just didn't drop music. And I think it would have probably been better for them if one of them had at least dropped tracks. Now, it could have just been freestyles here and there. Like, for, for example, like the baby, there's a bunch of tracks he makes no money from. He just hops on a hot song to freestyle and let people know, like, yo, I still got bars. I'm still here. And some people will, like, try to hate on him and be like, yo, he fell off. Look, he's still no one's paying attention to this. But a lot of his fans are like, yo, that, yeah, that's the baby. He's spitting. This is what I initially followed the baby for. So nobody's ever looked at the baby as anything but a rapper, which is what he wants to be looked at as which is great there's congruence there if you want to drop a rap album or a music album you want to be seen as a rapper a musician and that's the thing that jt and young miami have not been seen as for many many years and if you're a group you have to be seen together in the months leading up to your album release so all these shows, like for example, the JT and Lil Uzi Vert thing that happened at the award show, Young Miami should have been there with JT together. And they would have been seen as like, oh yeah, these guys, are they gearing up for something? Because if they start being seen together for months and you know there's constant stuff posted about them, photos, stuff like that, their fans start to bubble up and assist them with promotion. Like, oh yo, Young Miami and JT are hanging out again. We just saw them together like three times, four times this week. What's going on? Are they making an album? Are they getting ready to release music? Are they coming back for the quote unquote throne? What's going on? And that's something that the Migos were doing. Like after they had their era where it was like Offset release an album takeoff released an album and quavo released an album they were kind of doing their own solo thing when they were getting ready for their third album yes when they were getting ready for their third album they were pictured together culture three they started taking photos together they started hanging out together they were trying to restore the feeling and this is something that they were tapped in and understood this is what the people wanted i think offset talked about this so everyone was like yo the migos are back you remember culture one you remember culture two they're coming back to take over again they're about to drop culture three this is going to be a moment and they've had like two really successful albums that they can go back to and people will be more excited. But for the City Girls, the blueprint is already laid. They just decided not to follow it, which, I mean, worked out unfortunately for them. Now, the best thing that they can do right now is drop more music in the next like month or so. Like, because people will probably check this out. I think people won't check it out. Like, they know that they drop music now, even if people didn't check it out because, here, let's keep it a buck. People are sheep. Like, if they hear that, oh, yeah, this only sold 4K, 5K, they're just going to point, laugh at them, and not even check it out. That's just the nature of the game, even if they would have earlier. But they know they drop music. So if they drop something else, everyone's going to be paying attention to see what it is. So the worst thing that they can do is fall back and go back to doing what they were doing before this album dropped. They need to lock in together drop more music together and be seen together the one unique advantage i would say that they have is that they're a duo in this modern era of female rap no other female rappers are duos so that's a unique advantage they have zero competition in that lane like you know playing off of each other and stuff like that so yeah i think there's still a market for them i think they can still succeed and i think this squarely falls on them i i don't have anyone else to blame they are such big platforms themselves that they could have at least been doing 15k with minimal help from the label and i think the record label either doesn't care about them anymore or recognize like hey they're not even putting effort into their own album release well, why are we gonna put money behind it we gotta have something to work with but let me know what y'all think in the comments I try to give a fair take on this like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.